Rick Strife. I am the Leadership Development Coordinator. I'm a world history teacher and the head football coach at Cathedral High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. And this is my 20th season here at the school. We've won nine state titles and one runner-up over the course of those 20 years. That's four, four in a row, six of the last eight. We're on a, little, on a good roll. We currently have three guys in the NFL. Uh, Matthias Kiwanuka plays for the New York Giants. Uh, Jeremy Trueblood is a free agent right now, but had been with the Atlanta Falcons last year. And uh, local boy here, Jack Doyle, is playing tight end for the Indianapolis Colts. Kind of exciting. I will tell you, there's a tremendous tradition here. We're the all-time winning school in the, in the state of Indiana. Joe Deslin started the, the, the tradition in 1944, and Coach Mike McGinley came after him, and I came after Coach McGinley. So there was a tremendous tradition already in place. And it's been my goal is to, just to, to keep it going, keep the maintenance going. They walk into this program with an expectation of winning, which uh, I, I've coached some other places, and that, that's really hard to establish. And it's, again, it was here before I got here, but there's an expectation. There's just a, a sense, uh, there's a tremendous sense of family here as well. This place is bound together. We have 108 different grade schools represented by the players on our teams. They come from all over the city. And our, our freshman program is all designed to get everybody on the same page. And uh, our, our freshman coaches are tremendous at doing that. The kids walk in and that very first day in June, we, we you know distributing equipment and doing all that stuff. The kids are literally meeting each other for the first time. Now they may have competed against each other in our Catholic youth uh, organization, our football levels, but we have public school kids that come in. And, and again, getting everybody on the same page those first two or three weeks of, of practice, there's so much team building that's built into practice. I, I don't think the kids realize it when they're doing it, but we're trying to do our best to, to take all those different components. And uh, again, a kid's been a star in eighth grade and now he's got to start all over again in freshman. That, that transition, that journey from, uh, from the star to back to the bottom of the heap, which, which is life. And uh, we, we hope we do a good job of uh, helping those kids transition into what I call big people school. We, we talk a lot about brotherhood. If you walk around our locker room, you'll find, you know, brotherhood is everything. One of our coaches also, it was, you gotta take care of your buddy. It's the same concept. You, you look out for each other. You've got each other's backs. It's kind of like a family. Two brothers can fight each other, but don't let anybody outside the family have a shot at either one. So we're gonna go to battle for each other. Our coaches, first of all, show it with each other. We take care of each other. We, we look out for each other. I think I, I really encourage our coaches to get to know your players. It's like anything else in life. you got to build a relationship. As the kid comes down the hallway, hey, Joey, how's your day, man? How's it going? You know, and, and just joke, laugh, have some fun with them outside of football to, to get folks to know that, hey, we're people too. You know, we're people just like you. We've got issues. We have things we're dealing with. I think our coaches are really good about opening up and saying, you know, I've been there. I know what you're going through with that. That's a tough play. But here's when I played, this is, it was even worse. So we, so we get what you're, what you're going through. We understand that. One of the things I think we do that's, that's kind of unique is that I have senior meal at my house on the Thursday night before a Friday game. Uh, so 28, 29 kids come to my house. The parents bring some food in. We sit on my back patio in the garage, depending on the, the weather. And, and they, I think they get a chance to see our coaches, get to see me as dad, husband, because I'm not my boss in my house. My wife's bossing me around. The kids, you know, they'll look and they'll go, oh wow, coach getting bossed around. But that's, that's the reality of life. I really try to encourage with our coaches Bring your own kids to practice. It's cool. Bring them to practice because then they, our players get to see our coaches as dads. And we may have some kids that don't have dads. And this may be the greatest thing we can do to help teach our kids this is what a father-son relationship is about if they don't have it in their lives. And that's one of the things we are struggling with in our, in our society today. Indiana football has just gotten so much better, and it, I think it coincides with a couple things. First of all, uh, I think we can thank the Indianapolis Colts and particularly Peyton Manning for making football popular. That's really made a difference, and our high school athletic association has relaxed our summer rules, which has allowed us to spend more time. And I think we're getting a lot of those kids that 
uh, that 6'3", 6'4", kid who's a really good athlete, good basketball player, but now they see, hey, we can, I can earn a scholarship playing football as a, a wide receiver or a defensive back or maybe even a tight end, that maybe uh, now I can be a kid going to a Big Ten school to play football as opposed to maybe a mid-level basketball school. So we've, we've kind of transitioned and our, our, our coaching in Indiana has improved greatly. Uh, but it, it may go back all coincide with uh, the arrival of the Colts in the 80s.